Hi everyone, I've chosen this place, Odie Hill. It's a place that I like to bring people to when they come and visit us here in Botswana. And I've chosen this place to close out this video and share my heart with you about this project. Robert Moffat was on a hill much like this when he made the statement that in the vast plains to the north, He'd sometimes seen in the morning sun the smoke of a thousand villages where no missionary had ever been. You know, that's an amazing statement, and God used that statement to call David Livingston to come and preach the gospel here in Botswana. We drive just about an hour away to that very place where Livingston came after he left Kuramang, and he came to Kolobang and he started the work of the gospel here in Botswana, just, just an hour from here. That was then. This is now. This is our moment. This is our time. God called us in this generation to continue that work. And Grace Oasis is such an amazing part of that vision and that opportunity that God's given us. And that's why, without apology, we're appealing to you to pray, to give, to buy into the vision. <laughs> you say, hey, Pastor Mike, how can we pray? Man, the bottom line is, you know, we need $315,000 in 90 days. That just seems almost impossible to me, but God's already proven himself. Let me tell you about the first miracle that's already taken place. We, When we first entered into this, we, we needed $80,000 to make a deposit. We had about 40 days to get that done. And God so moved that in just a little over 30 days, $120,000 came in. It was just amazing to see how God did it. And we need to finish raising that support and that money to buy this property. I think one of the biggest advantages of this property is the fact that the buildings are already there. They need to be rehabilitated. There is work to do. But God's already raised up contractors that are willing to come, Christian contractors that are excited to come on a missions trip and give up their time and their energies to help us build this place. We've got churches that said we want to bring the first mission group to do camp. And, you know, we've got uh, couples that, Christian couples back in the States that want to come and help do some of those marriage enrichment retreats. I'm just excited about what I know God's going to do. Am I nervous? Yes. <laughs> I'm on my knees <laughs> every minute of the day right now praying and saying, Lord, this is an impossible thing for me, but it's possible with you. And just trusting God to do it. So I hope you'll pray with us. I hope you'll give as God puts in your heart to give. And just pray that God will make a way. Uh, we need to get it done. God's given us a wonderful work to do. Right down here below us at the bottom of this mountain is Odie Village. There's not a gospel preaching church in Odie Village. It's 15 minutes from our house. We've got people who live in this village. We're getting ready to plant a church down here in Odie Village. But there are a thousand plus villages just like this in Botswana where there's no gospel preaching church. Folks, we got to get the job done. Time's short. We all know it. We got to get the job done. Will you pray? Will you help? Will you give? Will you come so that God can use you to be a part of this vision and this opportunity we've got to reach this generation with the gospel of Jesus Christ? We love you. God bless you from Botswana.